What I want to do in this next demonstration is show you how to count the number of records in a report. You can see here the information displays the grouping that I created before in my report with the report wizard, but now I want to be able to uh, have access, count how many people appear in each of the uh, cities or live in the, uh, each of the cities. If I go back into the uh, view uh, design screen, I'm needing to create some space underneath the area, uh, the, design, uh, the detail area of my report. So I need to go into my menu and choose view and choose the option sorting and grouping. This dialog box uh, displays how the information has been organised and you can see here that there's the word city which explains or tells me that the city uh, field is the first field that uh, groups the information. Uh, the last name and first name are the options that I've used to sort the records in each of the groupings. But going back to the city field, uh, you'll obser observe that in the group footer section the word no appears. Now watch what happens when I type out the, le the word yes. <coughs> I've got my information displayed here uh, and when I move off or close that uh, option observe how the city field appears, or at least this city foot appears. Now I'm going to use a formula to create uh, the uh, necessary information, the uh, information that tells me how many records appear in each of the groupings, so I'm using this text box tool. Notice the label tool is used for uh, information when I'm creating uh, headings and uh, labels at the top of the report. I use the text box tool when I want access to do some calculations or counting records. So I type out the magic words, in this case, count. I need to use parenthesis to bind the or enclose the uh, records. And what I'm going to do here is have access count the number of, say, last names that appear in uh, the, uh, each of the groupings. I need to include the square brackets uh, around the controls because that's one of the rules that the uh, access uh, requires. I'll change the font size so I can see the number more easily, make the box a tad smaller, drag it across the page here. This count function is that uh, special thing that tells access to count the number of employees. If I go and view my report again you'll see that the number 4 comes up here. But this text 18 means uh, very little to me, so what I think I should do is change the word there to say total records to make the word sound or seem more understandable, those numbers more understandable. If I go back and look at it now, total records appears. If I zoom out, I can see the information on the page. If I push the page down key, you'll notice the uh, page uh, goes onto a second page where there's no data. I need to be careful here. I'm going to make the report uh, page appear on just one page and when I try to drag the page in you'll notice it gets, seems to get stuck. I'll come over here and just click on the ruler section here and you'll see that this label that I've dragged across previously has made the page too big. So if I drag the page in slightly uh, you should note that the uh, page should not be anything greater than uh, say 16 centimeters if it's an A4 page. If I view now, I can see the records, I push the page down key, everything's on one page. I go back into my menu, data, and I'm happy with that. End of demonstration.